Well, I was just explaining the perks of being a legend. And stars in the background, the chihuahuas on the bed, so you may hear them from time to time. So, sorry Star, you were sleeping and then I woke you up. So let me go ahead and let's see what B does. I don't remember what it does. Okay, right there. Yep, there we have it. So this is going to be episode 35 of Pixamon. I'm on the server mvblock.org. You got to download 3.3.8 of Pixamon as well as the Forge mod version that I'll provide in the description below. So you can actually join us on the server. Just do not harass the moderators, do not harass the players, do not harass the staff, the owner, and more importantly, just have fun with the server. It's survival, Pokemon, and Minecraft all in one. So let me go ahead and go to excuse me, spawn, because I just ate after the last video, so yeah, I'm probably going to get the hiccups from time to time. So TPA, except I'm at spawn, so there you go. Just, I don't want to have anyone in my mind right now. So, especially when I'm recording, it's going to get really confusing when that happens. So, hello Andrew, what is it that you want? So, well, let me go tell you what Legendary gets, or sorry, Legend. I got it all on a note card here. So with Legend, you get Private Vault 1 through 10. You get Color Text. You get 30 Homes, 32 Protection Blocks. You get Feed Player, Feed, PC, God. <laughs> you get God. Wow. <laughs> Just when I'm thinking about that. And of course, you get Pokey Heal, Back, Nick, well, which is nickname. And then you get the Workbench Command. So you get all of that. So Stone? Wait, what about Stone? Wait, can you show me the legend kit? Uh, what legend kit? Uh, did the but I don't know what you're talking about when it comes to legend kit. I just typed. I just typed it all out. I just typed it all out. You don't get a kit when you actually get a rank. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I did. So let me go ahead. So let me go ahead. Right there. And I typed it all out. What kit? I don't understand what you're talking about. I really don't. There is no kit legend. There is no kit legend. If I would have known about that, I would have I would have done it myself. There is no kit legend. That's why I'm, I was. That's just why I was legitimately confused. No, they had to take it out. Wait. There were no kits. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. Unless you're talking about shop. Why? I don't know. I am legitimately confused. So, yeah. There is, there is, there is no rank kits. I don't understand what you're talking about. Seriously. Wait, there are no rank kits. Rank Rate rank. I cannot even talk right anymore. You're confusing me. Sorry. Grammar here. So you used to get stuff for ranks. Yeah, you used to actually get the you you, you used to be able to get like rare candies and all the other stuff, but due to the new rules that they placed, you're not able to do that. So yeah. So we're good. Blame the law. That's it. It's just if if we don't abide by it, then the server will be shut down. So let's go ahead and move on to what I actually wanted to talk about. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What was I gonna do? What I what was I gonna do? Ah yes, you confused me, Andrew. You confused me. Let's move on, let's move on where I wanted to actually show you the shinies that I've actually gotten so far. If I actually even, I really didn't really organize it. So I got Ratatatas right here, two Ratatatas. You get to see all the other Pokemon. If you already recognize them, then I don't need to repeat myself with, with all the legendaries, or sorry, Pokemon here. I'll show you the legendaries later. So let's see here, and we don't have any shinies over here. Then no shinies over here. No shinies, no shinies. I've already moved some of them. No shinies, but I have the Articuno and a Zapdos right there. Back then when they were a uh, rank, or not rank. I am so confused right now. Why did you do this to me, Andrew? I had I had everything in mind. I had everything said and done. I was going to do this, but then, yeah. Okay, it's fine. So we got the Articuno and as well as Zapdos. Those were from the votes. The little vote rank system, whatever. 
just a randomized legendary that you could actually get. Then no shinies over here. Then no shinies over here. Then we got some legendaries over here. I got myself an Entei. I got a shiny level 100 milk tank. So that's one of them too. Got myself a level 9 Mew. I got three Mewtwo's right here. Two of them are level 100. One of them is level 80. Got a Kyogre, another Zapdos, and a Rayquaza. So moving on from here, this is my, of course, Typhlosion. Nine Tails, almost level 100. And then got my Gengar. This was supposed to be my team, but then I kept getting more Pokemon. So I just wanted to see them. Then I got myself the level 5 Mew from the vote system. I got myself 100 votes, so I got a free legendary. And then we're moving on to the shinies. I got a lot of EVs here. These are all either gigantic, giant, or large, or enormous. I'm just keeping them there because I want to see all the evolutions in their giant sizes. Okay, to the shinies. Got a Hypno. Well, I can show you the, where I got it from. So, we got Hypno from HX Vessel. Then we got Geodude from Alex Bam. Got a Staravia from Alex Bam. Then we got a Voltor from, Al well, yeah, Alex Bam. I actually was, I actually bought a lot of his shinies. Then I got a Jatini that was from Alex Bam as well. And it's a huge Jatini, so I could actually get that into a Dragonite. It'll be a fairly great size. Then another Alex Bam Pokemon. It's a Pikmi. Oh my god, it's so small. But it's still for the shinies, so I'm happy about that. Another Pikmi. I don't want to. I don't want to pick me slow king. I'll probably keep you as a slow poke. Then I got three Ekans. One of them is a runt, so that I'm gonna actually trade that off. See if I can get a different shiny, because the more shinies I have, the better chances I have it for a trade. Then I got two small Ekans. One of them I caught. The other one's from Alex Bam. So thank you, Alex Bam, for the trade. Then I got a lot of Pokemon. Some of them were actually given to me for free. And some of them I actually had to pay for. With the ones that actually were given f to me for free, I actually helped them out in the long run too. I usually give them either the tools or I give them the blocks. I give them the stuff. I help them out with the things that they need to for me to help on. So it all balances out. So I really appreciate the donations that I've gotten from Cougar and as well as from Mikey and X Gollywog. I bought some shinies from other people. I traded some shinies from Cowboy25 and I bought some shinies. I, I know I got one from Crucifix, and I will talk about you, Crucifix, in the next episode. Don't you worry. I just wanted to bring that up in the next episode, so I'll have something to talk about, too. I'm trying to remember who else actually gave me a shiny. I know that Ultimo gave me a shiny, so I have written them down. So, yeah, I've actually named everyone that gave me a shiny. Excaliwog, Mikey, or Mike1265, 1999, Cowboy25, and as well as Cougar. Cougar P2000. So if there's any more donations, I'll gladly accept them and I'll gladly be able to talk about you guys. So I got Numos. Oh yeah, I think it was Bimo. I think it was Bimo that gave me a shiny before. Yeah. Biller Beck Boys. And I'm trying to remember another person. I'm I'm sorry if I cannot think of the think of your name on the top of my head right now. I'm so tired. I know Sal of 16. Yes, he has annoyed me. And yes, he has caused some trouble, but he still gave me a lot of shinies as well. So I thank him for that as too. So let's move on. So I got the Numos. I got one that was male. And well, these are females, so never mind. Strike that. Got a Goldeen. So there's Cougar's Goldeen. I, well, let's go check them out. So I, I bought this one. I remember that one. So, let me see. Aqua Bubble. There you go. Bubbles gave me some shinies too. So, there we have that. Then we got the Krabby. I traded that for the Ditto with along with the Geodude and another Pokemon. I think it was Aeron. No, I bought Aeron, I think. Yeah, I bought him. Or no, I traded him. Yeah, I traded I traded a, a Ditto with that had a good IV stat. Then we got Murkrow from Bryce. Then we got Cougars. Little Sabra Eye. I'm trying to remember how to pronounce the names correctly. So let me see here. We got X Gullywog's Ladybug. I think I bought that one. Or was it a trade? I don't remember. I know I bought one. And I bought Strawberry 56189's little Oddish right here. And I got a lot more Geodudes. Really, I do. I got a lot of huge Geodudes. <laughs> it's kind of funny how that works. I'll be able to trade some Geodudes away. So if I got it three huge geodudes then it's gonna be a perfect match we got a huge geodude a huge graveler then a huge golem it's gonna be a perfect perfect it's good it's gonna be a perfect family then this one was from 
a free shiny coupon that DG gave to us due to the fact that he hasn't been active in a while. So everyone was able to get a free Pokemon shiny level 50, no matter what it was, it was all free. And you can even put in the nature and everything, the size as well, just as long as it's not a legendary. And then another one I traded. So there we have that. And I don't remember who I got it from, sadly, because the name wasn't there. I know I got Adamant Growlithe from another person, and it's a giant too. So I got one enormous and one giant. Swine up. I got three little pancake swine up. I bought this one. Then I got another swine up, was given to me by Cougar, if I'm not mistaken. Then I got a pygmy punyard, which I caught in the wild. Hey, somebody's messaging me. If you're chicken chat, let others know that I've been gone because of my because my grandmother was. So let me see here. Let me see here. Did, no, it just didn't say anything. So, so I'm guessing your grandmother was sick. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm very sorry for your loss. I this is at at this time. It's not really appropriate to actually provide a smiley face or emoji or how you ever want to call it. So, yeah, I never actually. I don't even think I knew my own grandmother. I've met my grandfather, and it's just I don't really have that much memories about him. It's just with one memory was that I was able to get Super Mario 64 from him. I begged, I begged, I plead, I plead. After the day was gone, he gave me the game, and I was so excited to go back home. It was about three hours away. I held the game. I never let it go out of my sight. And then when I got back home, the first thing I did was ran to my room, opened up the box, and put the cartridge into the Nintendo 64 and started playing Super Mario 64 for the first time. And I still have that game to this day. So, yeah, I'll let him know. Also, post the forum thread too. So, there you go. So, again, sorry for your loss. I never really knew my own grandmother. So let's get back to the let's get back to where we last left off. So let's go ahead and check out Spinarak. One of them I caught, the other one I actually bought. So let's see if I can see the name. Who did I get the Spinarak from? I think it was X Gollywog. I think it was X Gollywog. And then Slowpoke, small from Cougar. Thank you for that. Machop from myself. I caught that in the wild. I can't believe I forgot about that. Then I know I've gotten a Pidgey from the wild, and that's a regular Scizor. Then Diglett, I bought it from Mikey, or I think it was a donated. I don't remember exactly. Yeah, I think these were donated, so thank you again, Mikey, for the shinies. And the Rattata, yeah, I caught it in the wild. Rattatas are so common. Another donation from Mikey, and this one I caught as well, so I could trade those two off and trade the Ekans as well. Then, let me see here got one this one was from salvi 16 and then the other one trying to remember skill on craft i think i bought it then horsey was from salvi 16 did you say anything else oh hi brandon uh a uh, little bit awkward here i don't know what you want to do so let's get back to the pokemans right it's all about the shinies this episode and Salve 16 has given me a Firo, and let me see, got the Shiny Mewtwo from Salve 16. You got the Groudon, the Articuno, those are not shiny of course, but I'll probably donate for them to be shiny. Pidgey from Salve 16, no, no, this one was from, this one right here, the enormous one. That one was from Ultimo, and Zhao actually responded, well, it's understandable. Just say that there's some family issues. So we have that. And I kind of feel awkward actually talking about this now. Really, I do. So, yeah. Maybe I'll cut this out. Maybe I'll leave it here. But just, just don't take it the wrong way if I do leave it here. Because in all honesty, it's just a terrible thing to have lost a family member. And as well as that, you you don't want to lose what you worked for in a server. That like you pretty much, it's like a second family when you're in a community as well. When you're talking to all your friends and you're enjoying just being in each other's company. So, again, just... Ah, this is so awkward. This is really, really awkward. Again, 
if you guys want to message him, just send your condolences and just make sure that you he still feels welcome within the community, that we're all here to support each other. So let's see here. Where are we at? We are at with Pikachu. It was given to me. And we got ourselves a Pidgeotto, which is small, so I probably will trade it off if I have another Pidgey that is either huge or small. So I've got a few doubles or triple shinies that I could actually trade off. So I have more than one shiny Skoropi. I got two Goldines, so one of them could be a Sea King, so I already have that family. So I got a Ladybug and Lady Anne, so that's a family on its own. And I got a Pygmy Zoark, which was given to me by IMZ Gamer. That was another person that actually donated some shinies to me. Apologize if I don't remember every shiny that you've given to me. Aqua Bubble, I think I bought this from you. you got the Riot Chew. I caught the Riot Chew in the wild, so there was that Riot Chew. Tentacool, I think I caught. I'm not too sure. Maybe I was given to this one was given to me. Then, well, that's just a little po other Pokemon that I just wasn't shiny. I didn't actually take it out. Main key was given to me by Selfie 16. Another Pikachu was given to me by Selfie 16. Maybe I got two huge Pikachus. Nope, you're just ordinary. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just trade the Raichu off because the other one is actually larger. Swablu, I caught that in the wild. It was enormous. Fanfi. That one was given to me by, or I think I bought that from Bubbles and just the original owner was the Scalar PT. So we had that. Then, let's see, got a shiny Vulpix from Fallout. Let's see if he responded to me again. Yeah, he did not respond. So, let's end it off in a happy note. And I completely forgot about the Butterfree that was shiny as well. I caught it as a Metapod and evolved it to... No, it was a Caterpie, then I evolved it to a Metapod and then a Butterfree afterwards. So, back to here, Crobat. I got a shiny Zubat a long time ago in the old server. And then I just made it to a, a Crobat. Which I still haven't trained. I like Crobat. They're very fast. Then I got a Shiny Riolu from... A tr from. I actually had two. One of them was actually one from a Fallout. The other one was one from a Fallout. So I, I got two Riolus from winning Fallout. But the first Riolu, since there was a crash that happened, it actually rolled back to the point where I didn't get the Riolu. So I lost that Riolu. I actually talked to one of the moderators, but they didn't respond to me. But it's fine. It's fine. I just didn't get the Riolu and I didn't have the proof at the time. Because I didn't think that it was going to crash and then I was not going to be able to have it. So I thought they would be taking my word for it. Especially when the moderator actually gave him the shiny in the first place. But I digress. Trap Bitch was given to me by Mikey. And that's a giant. I've already gone Flygon. Wait, does Trap Bitch go into Flygon? Or, no, was it Bagon, Shellgon, and Flygon? I do not remember. I gotta look up the Pokemon. But if there's a final form that I haven't gone, then I'm good to go. Because I've already gotten a level 100, 100 Flygon. Yeah, level 100 shiny Flygon from, I believe it was Fugo because I traded it off of a Rayquaza so that she wanted to give me some good things with the Forty Rayquaza. So that was one of the things because Rayquaza was very rare and still rare to this day. So we have that. Then Dugon I caught in the wild. Then you got a Poliwag. I don't know if I caught this in the wild. Yes, I did. And it's a huge Poliwag too. So if Politoad's in the game, then I could get a shiny Politoad. Nice. Joltik, nope, not shiny. Litwick, I actually caught in the wild, and it's a giant, so that's going to be a great chandelier. And I got another little Tentacruel that is actually shiny, and it's huge, so that would be a Tentacruel right there. Sorry, Tentacruel goes to Tentacruel. Oh, wait. I got this from a different person, though. Why does it say my name? I didn't catch this one. Because I would have not nicknamed it that. <laughs> okay, I'll take that back. I don't remember who I got it from then. Probably bought it or traded it off. Then I got... Well, I traded for this one. That was a long time ago on the old server. And one person actually quit the old server and I was able to get a Skoropi from him. And I don't know if it was... No, I don't think it was that one. I think it was this one. The other one was a trade-off too. So I got a Swablu recently. Or sorry, Seawaddle. I bought that recently for 500 Then I got a Beedrill in the wild. Then let me see here. A Kadabra from the wild. And back over here, nothing that's shiny as far as I can tell. I got an Aerodactyl though. That's pretty cool. Then over here, nothing shiny. Nothing shiny. Nothing shiny. That's it. That's it for all the shiny Pokemons. Of course, you already see these two right here. So this one's going to be ordinary and the other one's going to be huge if I'm not mistaken. So I could just evolve this Rattata and of course... 
make it eradicate and get those two level 100 then just continue on with the list i got a lot of pokemon originally i just wanted to actually get one of every pokemon and then of course when the new server was going to come up by and i wanted to make videos again i just wanted to make it an extra challenge so i do have a lot of the original pokemon but i'm going to trade them off as i get more shinies along the way so that's all i could say right here this is a pretty interesting episode if i do say so myself again Sorry for your loss. Condolences to you and your family. Just again, everyone make sure that he feels he still feels welcome within the community and that he doesn't have to worry about anything. Because family loss is just a bad bad deal to go through. I've already lost a few family members and I was not able to attend the funeral at that time. I really wanted to, but I just couldn't. I honestly couldn't. And here, you obviously see that the Christmas event has already passed and gone. That we lost the snowman, we have lost the Christmas tree, we lost the decorations, there was a lot of lag that went on by. It's just no longer here and I didn't, I forgot to actually update you guys of what's been going on. They have already planted trees in the wild so that it looked more nice and that it just seems more natural rather than just seeing a wasteland of Greenland. <laughs> kind of weird to say that, but still. You got your spinner rats, you got your murkrows, you got your other Pokemon, ladybugs all around the world here. So that's all for my shinies. That's really good. Really good shinies. So I did not even count how many shinies I've actually gone so far. So let's just say that I probably have more than 70 shinies. But I still got to collect a lot more shinies. I got to get every single one of these Pokemon. And I have a Pokedex, but I'm not even too sure if that's even updated. Hey, look! A Noctowl. How you doing? How you doing, Star? You didn't have to wake up, Star. You're used to me actually just talking to the screen. You're used for me to talking to no one. I wonder if she actually ever wonders, who am I talking to? Or why am I even talking in the first place? Will I ever shut up? I don't even know. But we still got the Mew right here. Good old Mew. So let's see. Oh, that's a tail? Why Why is it purple? Isn't it supposed to be pink as well? Because that just seems a little bit weird. Well, DG actually hasn't been on in a few days, so I have no idea. I haven't really even been paying attention to the statue to begin with. Flygon. So we got my Flygon right here, but that's not the one I wanted to throw out. I wanted to throw out my Mew. Mew, is your tail purple? No, it's pink, just like your body, so why is that different? That's Mewtwo's color. Ah, well. At least I still got one Legendary Shiny down. And as time goes by, I'll probably donate to make my other Legendary Shiny. Because I'm not going to spend, like, $30 or maybe, wait, I think it was $32.50 for a Shiny Legendary when I could just make it Legendary for $7.50. So that's an option. So DG's going to get money from me. Hooray! And that server, or sorry, that money's going to be used for the server. Hooray! To keep it up and to make sure that it's still running for more time to arrive. So, that is all I could really say. Not too sure what else I could actually say for this moment. Just mainly, for those who are new to the channel and those who are new to this video for seeing this video the first time, I am crazy into trying to mine a lot of blocks. Because I'm going from Z8000 all the way to Z8000 in this tunnel. I'm already working on this part of the tunnel, then I'm going to do the floors, I'm going to patch up the ceiling, the walls, the floor, get rid of the lava, get rid of the resources, and it's just going to be one long tunnel from one end to the other end. And I'm going to expand on the tunnel in different directions, so we'll have that. You could say that I'm just cleaning up the floorboards at this point. Is there such thing as a shiny ditto? Yes, there is. You can get any shiny in this game. The only thing that's going to be a little bit difficult is Mistrevious. The only way you could actually get Mistrevious is if there are people breeding Mistrevious. And right now, I'm talking to you, gamer. I'm talking to you, Caterpie. That's his nickname. That one day, I will get that Mistrevious shiny. I will. I will get that. I want that. I think that's like the only shiny in the game. Oh, of course, with Mistrevious. As far as I know, because nobody else has been saying anything. So, problem is, breeding shiny ditto doesn't help in getting a shiny egg at all. Nope, it does not. So, we have that. 
Kind of funny how he's a trainer, but he's a gym leader and as well as a helper. Because that's actually a rare sight to see. If he keeps it like that, that would, would make him unique. Honestly, that would. And Wacky is online, one of my competitors for the top voter list. And also for Belltop, because he said that he that he doesn't he just didn't want me to pass him, but now I have already have. We've already seen this before, but here we go again. So there's Wacky. Oh my god, Danny beat you, Wacky. So now you're gonna have to work your way up back to number four, because that's where you're at right now, and now you're number six. Uh there's no harm in some competitiveness. Is there people? Is there harm in some competitiveness? It just makes the game more fun because then, then you just have a goal to complete. You have that person you have a rival as and you want to actually, you know, defeat your rival. Oh yeah, before I forget, I need to go to the lounge so I could actually heal up my pickaxe. Because I really need to heal up the pickaxe because I really don't want to go for another soak touch. Because that would be bad. It took me 14 tries. I've actually gotten a soak touch pickaxe, but I accidentally broke it. So I actually had to get another one, which took another 14 tries. You have a shiny Charizard. Would you want to sell it? And look at that. SG donated for a rookie and a ditto. That is nice. Thank you for your contribution. So there we go. Wait, did he donate it for a shiny ditto? Huh. Maybe he did. But still, a shiny ditto would be... I think it's... A yeah, it would be 750. So it'll be 750 for Shiny Ditto because it's 250 for the for the Pokemon, and then of course you add five dollars more to make it shiny. And if you want to make a Pokemon shiny, it would already be 750 on its own because it's already a Pokemon. So it's kind of weird how that works, but eh, whatever. And then another five dollars for the rookie status. So he has donated twelve dollars and fifty cents, and for me, that's one meal, honestly. I eat a lot when it comes to eating at a fast food restaurant. Whenever I go to a fast food restaurant, I usually eat for two. Mainly that I eat half of it, and then I eat the other half another day. Or maybe for dinner. So at least I pay for two meals. So that's why I spend so much. <laughs> yeah, I have not been eating out at a fast food restaurant for a long, long time. So I've been saving up money. So with that money that I'm saving up, it's going to be going back to the server. So you're welcome, everybody. Everyone's going to be happy. So does Ditto evolve? No, Ditto does not evolve. Ditto transforms, but sadly Ditto does not evolve in any way, shape, or form. So going back to the mine, let me go ahead and go on a Berserker Spree just for old time's sake, because it's been a while since I've actually done this, like 30 minutes. It just feels so weird not to actually do this. I just love it. MC MMO is the best thing that DG has ever put on the server because this is what makes the server a lot more fun. Honestly, it does because if it wasn't for this, I would not be mining at all. I wouldn't. I'll be looking for some ways or other to get money. But this is the best way to actually get money in the server. So with that, I'll be able to buy some Pokemon and by that, I'll be able to get some rare candies to level up the Pokemon. So let's go over here, go to back and mine this up. So how does he transform? It's a move used in battle. So, yeah, why, why did I do that? I don't even know. Boop, bitty boop. Okay, so with that being said, have a great day, everyone. I'm SorkeenZero90, and as always, I will see you in the next video.